Now we've seen energy costs come down quite significantly. We've seen food prices come down, but still remain elevated relative to before the pandemic. So actually, I would make a distinction between what we're seeing in terms of energy markets versus in terms of food. I think in terms of food, we still have food security problems as a major concern. But we have inflation coming down, and so the cost of living has gone down over time. Now, what is tricky, of course, is that wages haven't kept up with the cost of living, so there's been a lot of erosion in uh, real wages, and you see the consequences of that this year. You can see unrest in different countries in the world, and social unrest. There's something we need to worry about. 